guys good morning welcome to my life as I live it today is Friday and I just picked up my camera I've not vlogged for a couple of days and I just decided hey I may do a little weekend vlog so yeah to, like I said today is Friday and I have a jam-packed day like <laughs> I have a day, a very very busy day. I don't even know how I'm going to go about it. I'm still trying to think in my head how I'm going to go through my day. But yeah, I have a busy day ahead of me. First of all, I took off my braids yesterday. So I want to go by 8. What time is it? I'm sure it's 7. I want to go by 8 to go and relax the hair and just wash it and put up a ponytail is that it yes that's what i think i'm going to do on the hair then i come back home i'm thinking of going with monique so that they should just do monique a ponytail too then next week we both will braid our hair yeah so that's basically it and then also um also i have to go to the market going to the market this time or this time is so scary like Oh my god, it frightens me just thinking about it, but I have to go to the market because there are certain things that you need no matter what. So I have to go to the market. I'll probably call with my driver, the driver that always carries me around to come and take me to the market. So yes, he has to I have to go to the market to get some stuff. And then I also have to go to a couple of supermarkets because I have a birthday party that I am going to be decorating next week. So yeah, and that's something. That's another business of mine that I hardly talk about. But yeah, guys, honestly, I've not been doing that a lot because it's so much work. Like starting it, I didn't think that would be that that stressful. But it's so much work, especially as I have three kids. If I started before, it would be different. But starting it now is so much work, especially as Myra was still little. But now Myra is almost eight months old. So. I just decided to take one party and the party is next weekend so I like to have everything at hand before ahead of time so I want to go I've already bought a couple of things I have a couple of things at home but I want to go to the to some a couple of supermarket and just finish buying everything I am still to cook I want to make a goosey sauce that will eat with ripe plantain so what I want to do right now is just rush into the kitchen and start cooking my is sleeping and I, I'm also a little worried about Bobo Kaden is not feeling too fine he's been throwing up all night I don't know whether it's bile or is I don't even know what but it just got me worried I'm still feeling like should I even be going out with him feeling like that but anyway guys that's what's happening so my day has begun I think I should I should not be lazy today because I have so much to do I should just go Oh, 
too. I went and I did all my errands and I'm back home. I could not film like I just have a lot of gist to gist for you guys. I didn't even know where to start. Let me try to organize my brain <laughs> so that I can start from okay, let me start from okay when I left and I went to the market guys. I went to get some stuff at Marche Central Carrefour and at all. See here guys. <laughs> I was I was a guy almost stole from me like it was so scary this guy was following me i held my back and see i carried my camera in my back maybe that's why i was so vigilant I, I don't know it's like these boys they usually feel it when you have something in your back or when you're being too careful like maybe there's something there so he's just coming like coming close to me i just turned and saw him and i just held my back i went and stood near the woman that was selling and that one was seeing but she didn't say anything i don't blame them because maybe the guys usually threaten them that's what happened i was just shaking all through the day for all the errands i went because i went to like four places i was just scared i'm like hey let me finish and go home when i finish and i reach my house i was like oh my god thank you jesus thank you that i'm home safe nothing has happened see this corona thing has made the markets were dry, places were dry, so these boys, they are hungry, so they are just struggling to like get things, like steal or grab, grab anything from anybody. The rate of stealing is times 5 or times 10 to the 10th power now in Zwala. So it was just so scary. I came back, I was shaking. You know, I had to do other things, like I had to run other errands, but I, I just felt like funny. I was just scared. I said, no, please, not today. Let me come back to my house and come and stay quiet. So yes, I've come back home guys. I'm still here in Bobo. Bobo is lying down here. He's developing a slight temperature. But we're just going to keep monitoring him. But we had to call my um, husband's brother who is a doctor and ask him. And he just told us what to give him. So we'll give that to him and just monitor him for the rest of the day. If he's feeling better, okay. But for Myra guys, I think it's time. I think it is time that I win her guys myra has been so naughty she refuses to eat anything she just wants to suck and i'm like you do want to die like you cannot suck anymore <laughs> like an eight months old baby myra is going to be eight months in tell me a couple of days like on tuesday so i'm like what is what is even wrong with you so i think i'm going to win her probably for monday i think and i'm trying i want if you want to see me struggling to win her hmm? guys people should tell me i want to just try to sleep train her and win her all at once it's going to be hard but i'm just i want to just try to sacrifice like my one week the whole of next week and just win her sleep train her and let's see how it goes so if you guys are interested in that video let me know and i'm going to document it and put it out there so yeah that is it and then guys <laughs> Oh, let's talk about interesting funny gist. So I was just sleeping now because I came back. I'm really exhausted. I did not sleep last night because of the Caden and then Myra. All of them distressing me at night. I, I did not really get to sleep well. So I am here and <laughs> my somebody calls me. JD speaks calls me Judita and she insisted because normally I know if she calls me once I don't pick it. She's going to leave it and leave me to pick later but this young lady calls me and then she insisted so i picked it that's the call that woke me up from sleeping and then she was talking weird you know when you're talking to somebody a lot of times you know how the person sounds so she's sounding a little weird and i'm like what is happening she's like eh, ke uh kenna kenna of kenna kia this is jd Judita or JD speaks and I'm like since when did you start calling me like that but I thought oh, maybe she's just trying to be funny she kept talking and she's like oh one video that we did our first collab has hit one million views <laughs> guys this is it's today that I know that I'm Kwakoro <laughs> the Kwakoro woman in me popped out and I'm like it's a lie she's like i went to her channel see guys you push go and watch that video i'm sure it will be out by the time i'm doing this vlog so yeah it's funny because i thought once like i could do a prank video like judith and i would think so like anyway i'm just bored and tired my husband will probably be leaving for boya very soon who is that people seem to always want to send me messages only when i am talking when i'll go and sit quiet i'll nobody to send me a message anyway so um i want to talk about one last thing i want to talk about this my video this video <laughs> this is my video that i put out wow how to make happy men happy apparently a couple of people have watched the video and they had a lot to say 
like see first of all i want to comment about cameroon like cameroonians cameroon will really try we are not trying money close that door cameroonians we are not trying even a bit we are not trying at all <laughs> I'm telling you that Cameroonians are not trying at all guys that video and apparently a lot of people have watched it watched it because I did a little except to advertise on me my Instagram my Facebook and WhatsApp so a couple of people have seen the video and they liked it and then they shared it and people are talking about it that's packed up conversation and stuff like that but guys can you believe that I have only 500 views on that video and I was just like joy God what is this Cameroon <laughs> And then the part that made me laugh is just the fact that there's this blog I think is the hot gem I, I, I've seen it a couple of times before because I am friends with the person who has the blog like not French friends but like Facebook friends so she posted it on Instagram and she posted it on Facebook no. and she posted it on Facebook so guys okay she posted it now and people came somebody came and tagged me on it but that's where things are funny because you know people in fact people 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 just came for me <laughs> oh my god it's so funny like people just came for me a lot of people have insulted me and i'm like hey is this what it means to have hate comments <laughs> I almost went and deleted the video. God forbid, I cannot delete the video. <laughs> but people have come for me. People are insulting me. Look at that. Oh, they have insulted my husband, insulted my father, insulted all the men in my life. Oh my God, she must know a couple of horrible men. She must have been through, through hell. She's so sad. She's. <laughs> and I was like, wow. And then there are some people who are just actually pouring insults on me. Clean insults, like. You are like you are such a fool. I, I'm like, oh my god! Like, why are we like that? Why can we not just disagree with somebody without insulting them? As saying, do you know me like that? You don't know me. And the funny part is, you're just commenting from a little except oh, you did not even watch the whole video because everybody's problem seems to be, I did not say some african men but i'm like my people that is because you're watching just the except go and click and watch the full video when you watch the full video you obviously see that i said some men i'm talking about particular african men but anyway that was just it i just thought i should discuss with you guys and tell you guys that your girl has started having her first hit comments <laughs> and they are so funny like it, it's so funny and i said this is why the youtube uh youtube is not even growing in cameroon because every single person is commenting on that video if the number of only that video on facebook i think it has close to 2000 views and i'm like if these people all these 2000 people left from watching this video and clicked on my link guys ah i'll be heading to 5k subscribers but unfortunately every single person seems to watch it watch only that one and they're like no i know what the whole video is talking about that is cameroon for you a lot of people are like somebody actually wrote to me i was like no since i'm saying that i'm saying something else i should send the video to facebook and i was like <laughs> you people are crazy those who are interested will actually click and honestly from what i saw it's just like 20 people who actually clicked on that link so i'm like how do we get to get these are cameroonian brothers and sisters to come to youtube and come and watch our videos because that is one of the greatest stress and issues that were having so when she did uh, when she posted it i went ahead to share the video she posted and then i put the link like okay if you want to watch the full thing just click on this link guys how many people have clicked how many so i was just talking and i'm like see youtube eh? in cameroon youtube is the struggle monica i'll beat you i'll beat you in cameroon youtube is the struggle like i would have made a lot of money by now like that video but i i Unfortunately for me, it has only 500 views. Anyway, guys, that is it. My present situation. I'm thinking of going to have lunch. I've not yet taken lunch. I want to go and eat. Wow, the boy is sleeping. I feel so bad when I'm sleeping. It's just calm. When it
How are you feeling? So guys, um, I know from the beginning of this vlog, I was telling you guys that I was going to show you how my weekend went, but it was just one of those weekends. Today is Sunday and I'm in the hospital with Kaden and Myra. Because, like I complained from the beginning, they were just not feeling too fine and it just started like a joke, but guys, by yesterday, that Saturday, hmm, their temperatures were up there, everything, like they were throwing up temperature, I just had to rush them. No! Myra. The phone from Myra's because... I just had to rush them from the house to the hospital. We came here and they just admitted them. So this is the morning, Sunday morning. We just got up. Kaden slept well. Thank God. Myra, you can't do that. You can't do that. So, stop that. So, uh, Kaden slept well, but Myra had a little temperature at night. Kaden is presently on his fourth drip. My rice on her second. Yeah. We're still waiting for results, guys. We're still waiting for results before I'll be able to know exactly what's happening. But it's just too so much. Like my head is everywhere. I'm thinking about what. Yeah, taking down my blood too. Yes. Yes. So, yes, guys. That's the present situation. It's so stressful. Like my head is with Monique. My head is here. And every, oh, I just thought I should let you guys know what's guys presently it's 11 they have taken out the kids drips and everything but we are still here apparently they are still processing the papers and i'm tired i've just been sleeping and sleeping to not in fact i just want to go home like take a good bath rest sleep but these people say what are you doing oh my god you're eating my hair yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. shame yeah. <laughs> you're laughing eh? yeah. i just want to go home guys <laughs> I just want to go home. <laughs> I just want to go home, guys. I'm tired. Like, what can they be doing since? Oh my guys, God. so I think I should end this vlog here. Oh 
my god i'm just from sleeping like we are finally home and when we got home we just took like really really a long bath and we all took a very long bath after taking the long bath we just started sleeping guys i've been sleeping we reached out at 12 i've been sleeping since that 12 and now it's 3 30 we just woke up oh my god i'm tired it feels good to be home i don't even know how this vlog is going to be because i just feel like this is a failed vlog i did not even succeed to do anything but when i finish editing or when i start editing i'll decide whether i should put this up but yeah i'm hoping that i'll put this up today so i think i should um end here and then basically talk to you guys on the next one thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you next time love you bye